The Ilyushin IL-2 was a Soviet Union ground attack plane produced during World War II. It was known as Sturmovik, Stormovik, and Sturmovik in English sources. Pilots called it Ilyusha, while soldiers called it the Hunchback, Flying Tank, or Flying Infantryman. Its post-war NATO reporting name was Bark. The IL-2 was the single most produced military aircraft design in aviation history along with the American Cessna 172 and the German Messerschmitt Bf 109. It played a crucial role on the Eastern Front, with Joseph Stalin stating that IL-2s were as essential to the Red Army as air and bread. The IL-2 was produced in large numbers, with 36,183 units produced during the war. Vasily Emelianenko, a young pilot, was nervous as two Stromovik ground attack aircraft had just decimated a German-controlled airfield in eastern Ukraine. Despite the Stormbirds and machine gun fire, the Stromovik armor did not suffer much damage. However, a lucky shot hit Emelianenko's engine, and he barely reached the enemy airfield. With oil pressure dropping to zero, Emelianenko headed towards Soviet lines while German fighters chased him. The Stromovek made a hard landing, and Emelianenko had to run into the woods before being picked up by a German sniper. The resilience of the Stromovek, with its steel armor fuselage, allowed Emelianenko to survive. The aircraft played a crucial role in the brutal Battle of Kursk. In the 1920s and 1930s, Europe and the United States collaborated to develop a new type of aircraft for ground support to friendly infantry and tanks. The Soviet Union aimed to develop a dedicated ground attack aircraft with enough armor to withstand low-altitude combat. The Stromovik warplanes were designed to neutralize unarmored and armored ground targets, combining firepower armor protection and performance. However, the Red Army's attempts were unsuccessful. Designer Nikolai Pelikarpov developed the R-5SH and Stromovik, which were used during the Spanish Civil War of 1936 and the Battle of Kulkin Ghul against the Japanese in 1939. However, the aircraft lacked engine power and sufficient armor to protect pilots. Sergei of Vladimirovich Yushin and his team from the Yushin Aircraft Design Bureau developed a unique design that convinced Soviet leader Joseph Stalin. In 1938, Sergei Ilyushin proposed the idea of an authentic flying tank to Stalin, who allowed his bureau to develop it. The Illusion's design aimed to replace heavy armor plates with pure steel armor, allowing Ilyushin to proceed without competition. Two prototypes were ordered, single-engine, low-wing monoplanes powered by a Mikulin AM35 engine, providing over 1,350 horsepower. The most notable feature was the armored hull, made of riveted, homogeneous armored steel, which protected the cockpit, engine, fuel tanks, and oil radiators. The Ilyushin Il-2 Stromovek was a Soviet military aircraft designed by Yushin, initially as a single-seater. However, it was later redesigned as a two-seater after the Third Reich invaded the Soviet Union. The first flight tests took place in October 1939, and the aircraft passed factory trials in 1940. Yushin continued to improve the design before mass production. The aircraft was armed with five 7.62mm machine guns and two 23mm cannons. The fuselage was tapered at the tail with a single vertical fin and low-set horizontal planes. The cockpit was placed closer to midships due to the long nose section. The rear gunner's seat was modified, leading to the nickname, the Hunchback. The Ilyushin, or Hunchback, was introduced in March 1941 as German invasion rumors spread across Europe. 
By the time Adolf launched Operation Barbarossa on June 22, 1941, over 250 hunchbacks had been produced, but few were delivered to Soviet Air Force units near the attacked regions. The Luftwaffe quickly destroyed them due to scarce training for Soviet pilots. On June 21, the 4th SHAP conducted its first coordinated assault against German Panzers and mechanized infantry. By the end of the summer, most hunchbacks were destroyed, necessitating a ramp-up in production. The Soviet industry faced challenges in relocating beyond the Ural Mountains, resulting in varying aircraft quality between 1941 and 1942. Some had metal fuselages and wings, while others were made with wood. Stalin criticized the directors of several IL-2 plants, stating that they had let down the Red Army and should have produced more. Production increased dramatically in the following years, with over 36,000 Stromoviks produced by the end of the war. The Soviet two-seater Stromoviks were equipped with additional protective armor, two 37mm cannons, and AM-38F engines, providing over 1,750 horsepower. The Germans exploited the disadvantage of lacking a rear gunner, as Luftwaffe aircraft attacked Soviet aircraft from above and behind. In June 1942, pilot Vasily Emelianenko and his squad of Stromoviks were dispatched to a German airfield near Artemovsk in eastern Ukraine to destroy enemy aircraft. They lined up in battle formation, firing rockets and cannon shots as they passed over the rows of German warplanes. Despite machine gunfire, the Stromoviks' rugged armor proved it could withstand damage. Soviet aircraft continued engaging the airfield until the Germans could take their aircraft to the skies. The heavy armor of the Stromoviks led the Germans to call the aircraft the Betonflugzeug or concrete plane. During the Battle of Stalingrad, two Stromoviks wreaked havoc in a train station in Malorovskaya, causing significant German casualties and losses of fuel, ammunition, and supplies. The Ilyushin Il-2 proved its worth as a ground attack aircraft, with its 7.62mm machine guns, 37mm cannons, and bomb load of over 1,300 pounds. The introduction of anti-tank bomblets, PTABs, further enhanced its anti-tank capabilities. During the Battle of Kursk, the Stromoviks dropped PTABs from altitudes of over 320 feet, causing damage zones ranging from 50 to 230 feet. According to Soviet sources, over 70 enemy tanks from the 9th Panzer Division were destroyed by Stromoviks in just 20 minutes. General V. Ristinov employed the Circle of Death tactic, forming defensive circles with 8 to 12 models, allowing one fighter to leave the circle to strike targets and return to the formation to avoid being shot down by other Luftwaffe fighters. The Soviet Air Force claimed to have destroyed more than 250 German panzers during the skirmishes at Kursk. Lieutenant Colonel Nelson Stepien and Soviet Commander Leonid Beta became heroes of the Soviet Union due to their war exploits. Stepien flew over 240 combat sorties, destroying 70 tanks, 500 armored vehicles, and 20 aircraft. Beta and his squadron attacked Samoon Hill near Sevastopol, hiding from German anti-aircraft guns and attacking enemy emplacements and ships with bombs. Senior Lieutenant Anna Yegorova became an icon after flying over 240 missions and earning the Gold Star of the USSR. Despite their effectiveness, losses were high during the war, with over 15,000 lost to the Germans. The surviving hunchbacks were supplied to countries joining the USSR post-war, but were phased out with the introduction of Soviet jet aircraft. The legacy of the Ilyushin IL-2 is succeeded by modern jet Suhoi Su-25 Frogfoot of the Russian Air Force.